Welcome to D23! Mr. Cheesy Pop! Hey everyone, it's Max. Hey, look at the... And I'm Oswald. Oswald, front and center. I love this. How you guys doing? D23 is here. Welcome. It is day one, morning one, before it all starts. <gasps> I don't know what to expect. It's going to be crazy. It is going to be a wild weekend. I will take you along for the ride. Um, this looks beautiful right here, this Disney 100 thing that they will be celebrating. I love that they're including our favorite rabbit. Uh, let's go. Oh, I see the mouse already. There he is. We're in. Hello. Whoa. Hi, guys. This is the show floor. Walt Disney Archives 100 Step in Time Exhibit. Um. <laughs> I need to kind of get my bearings. Because <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot to kind of take in. Um, as you walk in here on the show floor, there's just a t this is a lot. Wow. I mean, as you walk through... I'm, I'm, <laughs> Hello, Disney Bundle. This is in the exact spot that they had it last time. The Disney Plus stuff. That's where it debuted. Um, but now they're advertising Hulu, Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, Synergy, Star Wars, Indiana Jones. What? I mean, it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is very overwhelming, I think, for people. If you just like come in here for the first time, I can't even imagine. Yes. It's a lot. First up, I wanted to take you guys to is uh, my friends at Art of Entertainment, Thomas King Cade, of course. Check it out. Uh, they actually have a, a few brand new pieces: Frozen, Moana, Disney Halloween. Look at this. They even have pins now. Look at the Frozen and Moana ones. Like how stunning is that? Gosh. And Moana. I mean, look at like the use of the sunlight in here. This is crazy. And then here's a Halloween one. Beautiful. I'm taking home a Moana one with me. And this Peter Pan pin. Peter Pan pin. Say that three times fast. Alright. Let's go do more things. Everyone is entering right now, which is totally insane. This is it. It's officially begun. I'm gonna start right here with uh, Step in Time, Disney 100 Years of Wonder. Why not? Let's, let's, let's check this out. Oh, wow. Like, this is super cool. Like, this is a really neat way to enter, right? It's through the, the, the zero arch. Oh, and we're in. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is cool. See, this is super neat. Where it all began, we got Steamboat Willie. Oh, this is cool. Okay, it traces the history along the walls here. Oh, this is really neat. Okay. So all along the walls here, it's going to give you the years. And then you have different exhibits for each uh, specific year. So oh, this is really cool. So I took a little photo up there, which, you know, you could see you could do that. There's more photo opportunities throughout the exhibit here. This is a whole cart they circle themed area. This really does take you through the entire history. This is neat. Our 1955 section right here. Oh, isn't that great? That is fantastic. And look at this. So this is Walt Disney's notes for the entrance tunnel plaque. And you can see he made edits. Here you leave today and visit the world of... Look, he crossed out stuff. He wrote where first and then wrote here. <laughs> look, this is, this is fantastic. <laughs> See, that's the kind of stuff I really love. That's the kind of stuff for me that is most interesting to me. You know, the little stuff that is so important to the history. Um, so obviously I've made it through to the 50s. Now we're in the 60s along the wall here. We're gonna get into Mary Poppins, 1964. Back here. You can sit here and have a little photo spot with the penguins. Cute. Strolling along here in D23. And look, oh my gosh, it is. You have this. When I saw you, I freaked out. He did, actually. I did. Because I, I feel like I'm meeting I, a celebrity. No, because, I'm not. Because, Mac, I'm you're not so amazing. Well, that's. A, and I follow, I follow you, your your audio work. I follow uh, like, his, his all acting. Alright, this is too and much. All these, no, too no, much. no. And, like, when I saw him, I was like, ah! Provost Park Pass. Yes. You guys know. 
So. Uh, thanks. This, it's so good to see you. Have, oh. a, have a great D23. This is the opposite. So this is a veteran right here. Yeah. And I'm a newbie. And You're going to have the best time. He just told me all the secrets. You're going to have the best time. I hope You really so. are. Yeah. Right. Enjoy. It's funny. All right, we're getting to 1971. You can't really see it. Where's the lighting? Oh, there we go. 1971. What happened? Disney World. <laughs> Disney World happened. The vacation kingdom of the world. Please do not touch. I won't touch it. Looks like we got some actual uh, Haunted Mansion props. This is cool. Yeah, this is really neat. Oh, wow. We're heading into the 80s. In the 80s, we had Tron. <laughs> it's just super cool. I love it. All right, let's go to the 90s. 1990. This is Dick Tracy. Wow. Okay. 2000s. Oh my goodness. The Disney Channel. Wand, do we get to do it? Oh man, yes. Adorable, absolutely adorable stuff. Hi, I'm Max. And you're watching the Disney Channel. You're watching Mr. Cheesy Pop. It's better than the Disney Channel. Don't tell anyone, or tell everyone. 2012, what happened in 2012? They acquired Lucasfilm. I guess that was a pretty big deal. <laughs> Forgot to show you this when I walked in because it all started with a rabbit. Let's be clear about that. Now I can see, like, I, I just stepped out of there and you can see, like, there's a lot more people in here now just doing all the things and it's... Mm, yep. Mar Look at the giant marble. <laughs> what is the giveaway? There's so much stuff here that I feel like I don't even know about, but people, people know about. <laughs> What are they giving away? I don't know. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you. There you go. Oh, that's cool. Captain Marvel pin. Stuff to be on the lookout is giveaways like that because a lot of the booths will do things like that where you can get things. So like they were giving out a poster or a pin over there. That happens all throughout this convention. Okay, I actually need to go to my first panel. It is the Disney Legends uh, panel. And uh, yeah. I kind of don't want to leave the show floor. It's so exciting, but I need to go do that as well. So, okay, let's go. Here we are. Uh, the Disney Legends panel is going to begin very shortly. I'm in my seat. This is where they honor uh, new Disney Legends, and it's the official kickoff to D23. Well, hiya, Mickey. Oh, oh nothing. Oh, hiya, Bob. I was just talking uh, to myself. Welcome to D23 Expo 2022. So Bobby up there just said we get this pin. Everyone in the room gets this pin. And only the people in this room get that pin. Thanks, Bobby. The best parts of the legend ceremony are honoring the Imagineers. Really, so good. Tracy Ellis Ross up there. She just said something so relatable. She was like, I went on the new Star Wars ride and it blew me away, but Space Mountain is still the one, which I totally agree with. Disney legend, Jonathan Groff. So this is the beginning of all of the cast of Frozen getting inducted as Disney Legends. So you'll see Jonathan Groff here, we'll do Josh Gad, Kristen Bell, Adina Menzel. They're all getting this. Disney Legend, Kristen Bell! I'm sorry to every parent who has had to listen to Frozen. I'm on a loop. I feel you. I see you. I am you. Josh Gad! hopefully get me priority lane access on all busy people rides. <laughs> and while I know that this honor is most likely a polite way of Disney letting us know that a Frozen live action film is in the works with <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown and Zendaya as the beloved sister's <laughs> and 
Jacob Tremblay as Olaf. <laughs> None of that matters because all of my insurance, car registration, and doctor forms will now have Disney Legend as a prefix. Disney Legend, Adina Menzel! All four Frozen actors hey, now. Oh, uh, hi, Adina. How are you doing? I'm a little tired. Are you bored yet with speeches? Yeah, I'm a little bored with the speeches, honestly. So, is this, can I go in like this? I like to do that in the studio. Um, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Accepting the honor for Disney legend, Chadwick Boseman, his brother, Derek Boseman. I honored even his, his friends and he made sure that his friends also had good careers. Live, on stage, the cast of Disney Animation's Academy Award winning Encanto. I feel like I was in that room for like my whole life. Okay, that was so long and now I'm back on the uh, show floor again. Uh, oh, hey Pixar. Pixar. The Wonderful World of Dreams exhibit is this way, which is all about the parks. I will have to get back there. Oh wow, ink and paint stuff going on up here, which is awesome. What's up? Uh, that's great, okay. Yeah, um, so here's the pin that we got for being at that panel, which is pretty neat. This is a, 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 an exclusive, they only made enough for the people that were in there. It's really cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna head to um, Walt's Plain. I'm sure you've heard about that exhibit. Let's go. There's a lot of people here. Here's a look at, you know, what it looks like to be on the floor from my view. It's just craziness. This convention's already overwhelming, let me tell you. Um, I did just stop uh, uh, over at my friends at Box Lunch. I will show you the new shirt that I got. So here it is. This is the new shirt that I got. Uh, you can see it's a button-down, goofy movie kind of button-down. It's pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna go see Walt's plane. Walt's plane. There it is, guys. That's cool. Walt's plane. So the story with this is that this was Walt's plane. Uh, his private plane. He would fly this thing, you know, to Palm Springs where he would, you know, have his chill time. And uh, they brought it here for us to see here at D23. You can take a picture in front of it, in front of it which I'm gonna do right now. And uh, then they're gonna fly this thing over to, or not fly, I don't know. Then they're gonna take it over to Palm Springs. It's gonna live at the Palm Springs Air Museum. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool seeing Walt's plane. So up here they've got a lot of uh, stuff on display. Uh, like here was an actual chair from the plane. I love it. All right, what do we have here? We have a telephone that was on the rear cabin of the plane. Here we've got an ashtray and a cup holder. That's cool. Instrument panel. I love it. Look at the instrument panel. You need to pay attention when you come to D23 to that kind of stuff. Just like I showed you before at the Disney 100 exhibit, you saw Walt's, you know, little stuff he's crossing out in the sign. Amazing. This is adorable. What'd I tell you? Look for the little stuff. Cause look at this cocktail napkin. What? Where do we get that? They should still sell them. Disney, you want to sell some stuff? You want to make some money? Sell these cocktail napkins. I guarantee you'd, you'd, you'd make you'd make a fortune. Look at me telling Disney to sell some cocktail napkins. But but, but right? See, look at actual pictures of him on the plane, outside the plane. We love it. Attraction tickets for It's a Small World from the World's Fair. I mean, what? This that's, this is cool stuff. Luggage tag, pilot's logbook. That's Walt's personal pilot. I mean, this is crazy. Cool stuff. So now that you've seen a whole exhibit about Walt's plane, 
here's new merch. So they teamed up with Amazon for this stuff and you can buy all of it actually on Amazon. Goodness gracious, this stuff's really, really cute. Um, yeah, it's really cute. And on the way out, we got postcards. This is gonna be some nice artwork. Let me show you. Florida, wow. New Orleans. Oh man, I love this one. That, this is like my favorite. Palm Springs is my favorite. New York! Oh man, this is great. Well, I love it. One of the things you have to remember to do here at G23 is eat. And that's kind of a challenge because the lines for food are very, very, very long. Uh, like, for example, this is a long line for just food. <laughs> Would you like to see some more food lines? Well, this entire area outside here is for food too. Like, it's a lot to deal with out here, guys. Hi! <laughs> are we surviving, D23? So far. So far. <laughs> that was pretty great, man. You know Disney Mama Naomi. You know who runs my my, my moderation on moderating in, in my trivia. Anyway, I'm getting a line to get food, and then it's all gonna be time for another panel, basically right after that. It's chaos here. I'm not gonna lie. Check out RJ. Hi, Ally Rose. Hello. This is great. <laughs> we are. So we're waiting for the. <laughs> The, the, the Pixar, Disney animation, what else panel? I don't know. It's the studios panel. This is what the room looks like where you wait. Now this is for the people with reservations because you, 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 you had to make, before you come to this convention, you put in your top choices and then the computer spit back what you got. So this is all the people that have reservations. We scanned our little thing in and we have our reservations. There was also a standby area for each panel and like it's crazy guys. To get in the standby I think you have to wait for hours and you don't even know if you're guaranteed. <laughs> It's such an honor to bring the first full-length animated feature to life. Getting this film, working with Rob, is such a dream come true for me. I mean, I'm sure all of you in here can relate to Ariel and how special she is to all of us. Okay. Wow. Yes. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little delirious right now. I just sat through a two and a half hour panel on Disney Animation, Pixar, and Disney Studios. We saw a lot. We saw that the new Disney animated movie is called Wish, Disney Wish, not to be confused with the cruise line. Um, <laughs> and we saw Ariana DeBose perform a new song from it. We saw a lot of stuff. My mind, my brain's spinning. I don't know, I have posters from it. Uh, I'm just, I don't know. And now my boarding group for the shopping was called? Shopping boarding group. That's how crazy this is, guys. I don't know. I'm, I'm exhausted. I better, uh, let's go shop. Oh yeah, I look tired. Oh yeah, the day is taking a toll on me. Here we go. We're going in the Expo Marketplace. Here we go. There's like so much stuff in here. I don't even know where to start. So I don't know. Oh my goodness. I'm just thinking about all the um, people walking around here with a ton with tons of stuff in their bags and. The, the machine is in full force here at D23. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did I mention I was delirious? Nothing in my bag though. I haven't bought anything. But I am going to go pick up my free D23 gold member poster now. 
because I don't have enough posters. The good thing is that this poster has Oswald on it. Look at our little buddy up there at the top of the castle. That's so cute. I love the Oswald representation uh, here. It is great. Look at him. Yes. Day one in the books. <laughs> what a day. Legends panel and all of the stuff they unveiled at the Disney Studios Animation Pixar panel. I walked around here a lot today as well, but I have a lot more to see on the floor. Talking to people, everyone's very uh, excited yet overwhelmed, I think, by everything. We still got a lot more to see. Uh, like this, tomorrow, I gotta come back here. Disney Parks and Experiences, I gotta do that. There's so much more to do and see uh, that I didn't get to do today. So uh, we'll do it tomorrow. Thanks for watching day one. We'll be back with more. It hasn't rained in Southern California in months, and here it is. It's day two of this madness. Am I awake? Barely? Let's go. I can feel the madness in the air. You know, this morning is the Marvel Lucasfilm panel. So it's like extra mad. Uh, I didn't get a reservation for that. So I'm gonna try my media standby. We'll see. Oh look, they got trivia up there. Maybe one day I'll bring that back. Here we are. Did you and know there's an official Disney fan club? Yes. And when we say Disney, we mean all of Disney. Anyway, I'm in the panel. Marvel, Lucasfilm. D23, the official Disney fan club. It's gonna start soon. It's pretty wild in here. Like Disney and Pixar, each of these studios has a phenomenal legacy of storytelling. All the way back to when he was collaborating with George on, on uh, Clone Wars and on... Thank you all so much for having me. Very, very good to be here. And great to be here with you guys. Put him on... He gets out the armor. what it was like when you were named the sexiest man of the year. <laughs> An enormous pleasure for me to be able to welcome Key Kree Kwan to the class. Is this not the Indiana Jones panel? <laughs> Carol Davis, Miss Brie Larson. <laughs> I thought I'd start off by sort of just asking a couple questions of our cast. I'll I just got out of the studios panel. I, I look, I look rough. <laughs> It was three hours long, but oh, we saw a ton. We saw Harrison Ford. We saw tons of Marvel stuff. My brain's kind of like, I can't even think right now. I'm so tired. I need Starbucks. Um, we saw some new Avatar stuff, which they showed us scenes from it. They gave us 3D glasses to watch it and shut all of the curtains in there. You know, James Cameron's got to have it his way. It was wild. And it's just packed in oh. here. Just wild. Did you think I was kidding? Uh oh. Yeah. Pumpkin. Oh. I needed this so bad. It was a, an amazing panel to be in because we saw so much and so much of what is coming, um, but it was exhausting also because it was so much. <laughs> Just, the performance of Save the City, Rogers the Musical from, you know, Hawkeye, that was, I think that was my favorite thing in the entire thing, to see that live on stage. You know, Save the City. Go check out my Instagram uh, if you haven't seen it. I can't post it in this video because it's all copyright and music, obviously, so. But, like, go, th that was the coolest. That was the coolest. And seeing Harrison Ford. I feel so much better. I ate. I had my coffee ready to go for the rest of this craziness. I got a lot to see on the, on the show floor still, you know? That's the thing with D23. 
if you get into the panels, you, especially the really big ones, you have to know they're gonna take a lot of your day. And so your day can just go like that. If you do two of them, there's your day. Well, this is so neat. Look at this. This is a replica of the Disney Brothers studio where it all began. This is so cool. Oh, I love it. It's the actual address, 4649. Yeah. This is the kind of stuff I like the best, you know. And they give you a little history of all the things he made at this studio. So yeah, it's gonna start here. Ah, oh, this is so neat. So this is with the Alice comedies. In 1923. And then on your way out, you get a little pin. Look at that, a suitcase and a dream, huh? Sponsored by Visa. I'm stepping on Lucasfilm. Uh, this has been here before. I think this was just at Comic-Con. This though, is so neat. Uh, Indiana Jones, costumes. Willow on display in back of me here. We learned a lot about that. We got to see uh, some Willow stuff at the panel. Oh uh, yeah, good stuff. Can you tell that I am much more alive now? <laughs> Well, this is cool. I love this. And so this is the animation exhibit. All in here. Look at him. He's looking over uh, his studio here. <laughs> wow. A little example of a Kim Weber desk, not an actual Kim Weber desk, but uh, there you go. Yeah, okay. Strange world. Strange World stuff on display is their next movie. You see what that's like. It's pretty awesome. It's always interesting when you come to a D23, and I've been to them all, and they are talking about new movies and you've never heard of these things before, and then a couple years later you're like, oh wow, that was Frozen. Almost 10 years ago or whatever, they introduced like Let It Go to us, and then you're at, <laughs> now you think about it, we were like, oh, we saw like a performance of Let It Go before it was Let It Go. Yeah. So here's where they have picture spots. Uh, that is for Disney Wish. This is for Strange World. You can just get in line and take a picture. Now I will hop in there and take a photo. And then they email it to you, I guess. Or it shows up on the app or something. This is the Pixar side of things. Elemental looks really interesting. Win or Lose, the Pixar series on Disney Plus looks awesome. It's also got a softball thing going, so that really is something I'm like, boom. This wall was always at D23. You know what's really fun about this is that you could just be roaming around on the floor and then you run into like a bunch of free stuff. Uh, this is a collectible pendant that Disney Music Emporium was given out from the Disney Movie Club. It's Nemo. Like, this is... It's, it's so cute. You know, look where I am now. It, it is... My buddies here, Van Eaton Galleries, right? You know Van Eaton Galleries. The, the auction experts always with the coolest stuff. They got, they got a big auction coming up later in the year, which you will definitely be hearing from me about. But they got a, they got a little booth here at uh, D23, so I had to come by and say, hey, always great people. And uh, yeah, you'll hear more about all the stuff that they're working on from me uh, soon. So this whole section of the floor is all of the smaller vendors. So that's why Van Eaton Galleries was over here. You've got like Disneyana, you've got little tiki places, you've got just all different small vendors. So not your Pixar's and your whatever, They're just, just small. There's Bob Gurr signing stuff. I mean, that's pretty amazing. While Darren Chris serenades us in the background, I'm not kidding, I found princesses! <laughs> I can't get over the bear. He's just singing whatever he wants. This is a good. This is this is good timing, I guess. I don't know. It's a vibe. 
Um, Jesse, Tori, you look beautiful. This is. See, I think he forgot the words again. He just keeps getting stopped again. No, he's trying to get the crowd to sing. Oh! oh. Yeah, you guys just heard that. I was over there. What's up? I'm good. I'm in Mickey's of Glendale, which is another store. I did the virtual queue to get in here. They have all this new Toontown stuff. The new Toontown is coming soon with Mickey's Runaway Rail Railway and everything. Oh, this is cute. El Capitoon. Oh. oh, this is really cute. El Capitoon spirit jerseys. That's adorable. They got me on the very simplistic Kermit sweatshirt. I, I did. This is what I like. I like this store a lot. It's very simple. Uh, really nice. Just a simple Kermy sweatshirt. Muppet Studio on the sleeve, and that's it. I like it. Classic. Do I need another mug? No, no. So we're in line here at the Talent Central area. This is where you can meet uh, the talent. Uh, right now there's an artist signing happening and it's time to meet Shag. There he is back there, we're gonna do this. Met Shag, he was awesome. Signed a little thing, really cool. Um, and now I'm finally going to go see the wonderful world of dreams, which is the Disney Parks exhibit. So this is what it is. Wow, this is cool. Oh yeah, I see the Zootopia characters in the distance there. So this is the Shanghai Zootopia land. There's the ride vehicle. You ever get the feeling that we're being watched? Watched? Yeah, like we're actually on stage and a bunch of random not from Zootopia onlookers are watching us perform for them. Yeah. <laughs> good one. Good one. Good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is awesome more of that kind of stuff in disney parks for sure like that it's like the muppets when they used to do that right rj so cool. that is that worth it. we want to see more of yes. that that's so neat that's so well done and we're just standing right here oh yeah i love it so this is a tangled attraction ride vehicle is frozen wow i mean these are just so cool we have peter pan right here wandering oak and sliding sleigh the runaway railway area the rest of toontown that looks fantastic and now let's go see tiana's bayou adventure beautiful Journey of Water, inspired by Moana. Look who showed up there. Tiana. And this is the statue, which we will go take a picture with now. That looks incredible, and I can't wait to see him in front of Spaceship Earth. But look at us, we got to do it now. It's so cool. More making of things right here. I love this. Ugh. Yeah, this is great. You know, what's so wonderful, every time I leave Disneyland, I always say, thanks, Walt, when I'm on my way out, and I look up in the, uh, the firehouse, I say, thanks, Walt, and now when I leave Epcot, I can say, thanks, Walt, right there. Ah, got the pennant. I've been looking, I've been on the hunt for this thing. I uh, just happened to walk into Disney Animation again, and it's so cute. Pixar ball. We got it. So this year for Disney Volunteers, which is the thing that I'm at now, um, you make a sea creature for the ocean and this sh and it shows up live there. And then Disney donates $5 to uh, the Nature Conservancy. So this is cool. Ooh, I like that. My guy's funny looking. I have named it Cheesy Fish. Hi, buddy. Whoa. Then you go over here, you can see the guy that you just made. My guy's over here. Oh, he's swimming up there. Queue actually ends here, because day two is done. Woo, tired. But the second half of the day was really nice, actually exploring the floor. Um, so, 
was a really good day. I feel better after the coffee, after lunch, you know? Uh, really great day. I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow. Disney Parks panel first thing in the morning. Cannot wait. That is what I've been looking forward to the most out of anything here. So can't wait for it tomorrow. I will see you then. Day three. Let's do this. It's Parks Day. Parks panel day. I'm very excited. This is the one I've been looking forward to the most, obviously. Can we appreciate the... Uh, the lighting from the sun here at the Hilton, staying at the Hilton. I have this crazy view, by the way. Like, look at this. Look at that. That's uh, Incredit Coaster, the back of Cars Land. Look, you can see Space Mountain, the castle. Kind of insane. <laughs> All right. <sighs> I gotta go uh, to the convention center, though. See you soon, Disneyland. <laughs> Heading on into the convention center. It is time, guys, to hear all about the parks. This is the most exciting. Been waiting here in this line for about an hour as uh, we wait to go in to Hall D23 for the big parks panel. Excited. They just handed us this and said, you will need this at some point during the panel. We're in, let's do this. Good morning, everyone. I am so glad to be here. We're all back at the D23 Expo. You're all doing good? Yeah! And I want you all to know this. I understand. I know how you feel about our parks. I know why you love being there with your friends and with your family. And I'm sure I've had a chance to meet many of you. I hope I want to have a chance to meet all of you as I walk around our special places. This is the way. This is the way. Thank you. Thank all of you. Thank you. John Cameron. How about a little green? And now we're bringing the multiverse to Avengers Campus. You're gonna be able to battle alongside all the Avengers against all the foes from anywhere, from every win that you can possibly imagine. And you're gonna meet a new villain named King Thanos. This is a new version of Thanos for the very first time coming into the MCU via this attraction. And he's got a cool white beard too. Expect a bunch of long so shopping, dining, showcase. <laughs> when we are in these environments, it's important that they inspire a sense of awe in us. So we are taking wow. advantage of that massive structure. So they told us to take out our handkerchiefs now as we welcome Anika Noni Rose. We got some Princess and the Frog performance coming. <laughs> This is an exciting time for Epcot because we're getting close to another major milestone. And I figured it would be cool to invite out two key collaborators to, to come on out here and talk with me about some of our initial ideas. Sound fun? Yeah! Okay. I remember the first time I sat down and watched Utopia. What if we can climb aboard the back of Alvarino <laughs> and fly into the land of the dead? We mostly love, adore, and sometimes a little too obsessively adore our villain. Our villain. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Villains, Coco, and Kanto. Disneyland Resort will showcase not one, but two new nighttime spectaculars. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so on our way out, we're getting all this stuff that they said, posters, you know, pin. And they're giving us Portos, which is crazy to celebrate Portos coming to downtown Disney. <laughs> I'm always exhausted after I step out of, out of that hall. Always exhausted. Because they tell us so much and it's filled with so many emotions. I mean, nothing quite gets me like the parks, obviously. So that was my favorite. By the way, here's Portos. Yeah, they gave us lunch. Sweet. All right, I had a couple of minutes to collect my thoughts. So towards the end of the panel, they... Um, did this whole kind of like brainstorming session about the possibilities of the future. Like they talked about Zootopia and Moana coming to Animal Kingdom. They talked about Beyond Big Thunder at Magic Kingdom, this land of 
villains and Kanto and Coco. It was all a bunch of stuff that was like, hey, this might be coming one day. Here's some concept art we're thinking about. The villains land got the biggest reaction. It was really neat. So uh, you, I don't know what will happen, but it'll be an interesting time. Look at this. Oh yeah, Portos is amazing. Is this the churro croissant thing? This is what's coming to downtown Disney, guys, Portos. Portos is wonderful. Yeah, I feel like you, unless you live in Southern California, you don't know it, but. Mm, that's amazing. This is the best bakery. Mm. 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 So what did we get exactly with that panel? We got a whole bunch of question marks, basically, um, with all of that stuff that could be coming to Disney World eventually. Uh, Disneyland did not get a Tomorrowland announcement of any sort. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, the San Francisco area that's taking over the Pacific Wharf in DCA. Interesting. I mean, I love uh, Big Hero 6. I think that's, that, that makes a lot of sense to be there. Definitely does. I will miss the free bread, <laughs> but that does make a lot of sense there. So that was a cool, fun surprise announcement. Portos is great. I just ate it all. Uh, I don't think we got anything, like, major, major. A lot of it was, this might happen down the road. We'll see. What do you guys think of this concept art? You like it? Hmm. Well, you may see it. <laughs> so we didn't get, like, earth-shattering stuff. Like, Magic Happens is coming back. We're getting a new World of Color, a new nighttime show here. We're getting... Uh, Happily Ever After's coming back. We're getting an Harmonious is Gone, I guess. Getting a new Epcot nighttime show. That was interesting. But I don't know if we have anything earth shattering or new. New, new, new. Nothing concrete new. That is the, the thing about this panel that um, they're just like, where's the nothing concrete, no official date for this thing that's coming. So back to the show floor I go. Um, that's pretty much it for me. This is it. This is coming to the end of my convention here. It's been, it's been a long it's been a lot, guys. <laughs> I just ran into the one and only Josh tomorrow. We had a nice little chat about the panel. So that was kind of fun. It's really neat seeing Josh here after he just did that whole massive thing up there. Uh, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, and it was kind of fun to talk to him and be like, uh, hey, how'd that feel up there? And he was like, it's great. And he's all like, did you uh, enjoy it? Did, are you looking forward to the future? He was like, a lot more to come. Like, okay. <laughs> <Is this? laughs> you know, it's always a pleasure to see Josh. As well. So some guys like Bill, homegrown. Well, Baseball Lamar and guy who will shotgun Disney Plus. This works for me. I'm over here at Roosevelt's, guys. I was just, I was just getting fitted. They really have some of the coolest shirts that I've actually ever seen. Um, as far as Disney stuff goes, like it's really cool. Disney Star Wars. You guys are killing it. Doing our best out here, D23. So I'm here at McFarland Toys, guys. Look at this. These are just revealed. This is uh, from the new Avatar movie. Look at all of this. Oh, and they have some World of Pandora stuff down here. Oh, this is neat. Check out the bioluminescence. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, that's really neat. It's so cool seeing the, uh, you know, the smaller vendors and whatnot here. I, I really do. As I stroll past Disney Plus, you know, it's, I like ch chatting with the small vendors. Guys, I think I am coming to the, the end of my stuff here. I'm exhausted and it's pretty much time to wrap this up. I started the, the convention here, step in time, and we're gonna end it right here. D23, guys, it is it is a, it is a wild time, isn't it? If you were here, what'd you think? Did you have a good time? Did you get to see all you wanted to see? Are you exhausted and ready to collapse? Everyone can answer yes to that if you were here for three days. <laughs> Lots of fun, though, um, and uh, I'm happy I could bring you guys all the content. One more peek inside there. The, the, honestly, like this was one of the first. This was the first thing I did, and I kind of loved that. Like more than anything, I don't know. It was great. I like that's the kind of stuff I like the best. That Walt's plane, just little stuff like that. I'm outside. I got out of there somehow. We did it. I'm gonna end this now. This is it. We started actually right here with Oswald. 
So we'll end right here with Oswald. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along on my D23 adventure. I can feel my voice going, and that's not very good for a voice actor, so I'm going to stop talking. Appreciate it, guys. D23 2022 in the books. We'll see you in 24, I guess. Huh. Like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page. Have a magical day, everybody. Bye.